Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. To avoid a substantial increase in water scarcity, biomass plantations for energy production need sustainable water management, a new study shows. Bioenergy is frequently considered one of the options to reduce greenhouse gases for achieving the Paris climate goals, especially if combined with capturing the CO2 from biomass power plants and storing it underground. Yet growing large-scale bioenergy plantations worldwide does not just require land, but also considerable amounts of freshwater for irrigation, which can be at odds with respecting Earth's planetary boundaries. Scientists now calculated in their to-date most detailed computer simulations how much additional water stress could result for people worldwide in a scenario of conventional irrigation and one of sustainable freshwater use. Irrigation of future biomass plantations for energy production without sustainable water management, combined with population growth, could double both the global area and the number of people experiencing severe water stress by the end of the century, according to our computer simulations, says. Enhanced use of bioenergy with carbon capture and storage could limit climate change. When plants grow, they take up CO2 from the air and build it into their trunks, twigs and leaves. If this biomass is burned in power plants and the CO2 is captured from the exhausts and stored underground, carbon capture and storage, in short CCS, this can eventually help reduce the amount of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere, scientists call this negative emissions. In many scenarios, these are seen as necessary for meeting ambitious climate mitigation targets if direct emission reductions proceed too slowly, and to balance any remaining greenhouse gas emissions that are difficult or impossible to reduce, for instance potentially in aviation, certain types of while substantial irrigation implied in a bioenergy plus CCS scenario including population growth suggests a 100% increase in the number of people facing water stress, combining it with sustainable water management brings the number down to 60%. This, of course, is still an increase, so challenging trade-offs are on the table. Regions that already suffer from water stress today would be most affected in the climate change scenario, like the Mediterranean, the Middle East. In the bioenergy plus CCS scenario without sustainable water management, high water stress extends to some otherwise unaffected regions, like the east of Brazil and large parts of sub-Saharan Africa. Sustainable development goals and planetary boundaries must be taken into account climate mitigation as one of the sustainable development goals SDGs the world has agreed to achieve. Risks and trade-offs have to be carefully considered before launching large-scale policies that establish biomass markets and in particularly the integrity of our biosphere must be acknowledged to protect a safe operating space for humanity. Quote. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you technological news. Thank you.